Okay, so in this step, we're going to add form filling to the breakfast bot. So form filling is similar to the concept of slot filling in Dialogflow ES. Yes. Um, we can basically in one step of the conversation in Dialogflow ES, yes, it used to be inside the intents. Now it's inside a page. We can uh, define a, a list of different slot, a different list of items or variables we want to fill and prompt the user for and only when all of those are filled which means the user has answered how they want to uh, fill all these slots or how they want to configure then only then the page transitions to the next one so it sounds very abstract but for the case of this uh, breakfast bot i just made a, a small modification so i renamed those pages here into coffee question mark and breakfast question mark and then i added a page here breakfast type and what these pages will be is um, basically how it was so we ask uh, would you like some coffee and then the user can ask with yes or no but now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new page where we then uh, ask the users to specify what kind of coffee they would like and if they would like a big, uh, a large size, a medium size or a small size. And then I added the same for the breakfast where we just ask would they like breakfast. If they say no, we transition to the end of the flow. If they say yes, then they can specify the, the type of the breakfast. And uh, yeah, so now it's going to get interesting. So how do we do this? As the first thing, let's just um, define the new page. So I'm going to stick to my naming convention here. I'm going to call it coffee type. And then we have the coffee one here where we say, so now when the user uh, answers would you like some coffee they answer yes we want to transition to this new page which is called coffee type and if they answer no then we will just say because we don't offer any other drinks for now then we're going to go to the breakfast um, page which is already set up so uh, next thing I already went ahead to speed things up a little bit and I created two entity types, um, two new entity types. Uh, one is the coffee type. So we're going to offer three types of coffee, Americano, Espresso and Cappuccino. Uh, this is what the entity is called. And then I added some synonyms. And uh, for the coffee size, we're going to offer large, medium and small which I think is more than enough. We don't need any more sizes than that. And so now we're going to use those. We will say, so when uh, someone answers, yes, I would like coffee. What can we, uh, what can we say as an entry fulfillment? We could say, uh, no problem. To be honest, we could also just skip this one, but, uh, just so we see how things work together, I'm going to add this now. And this is the new part. So we're going to define two parameters, which are then the parameters that this page needs to uh, collect before it can transition to the next one. So what do we want to collect? We want to collect the coffee type. Uh, I'm going to just call it coffee. And I'm going to select the coffee type uh, entity that I created before and it's marked as required. So we need the coffee type before we can transition to the next phase. If the user has told us they want coffee, then they need to tell us the coffee type and also the size. And um, for so initial prompt fulfillment here, we can uh, give a, another prompt to basically from the user to tell us what coffee type they want. So we can say, to be really helpful here, um, we offer Americano uh, cap 
cappuccino and espresso. Which one would you like? And that is it for this one. And then the second parameter is going to be the size. And here I will select the coffee size. And then we're going to say which size would you like. We offer small, medium, and large. And it's also required. Okay, so now that we have this, let's add our first route. So we will need two routes. One route where we nest the intent that recognizes in the end the user input to fill those two parameters. The second route will be the route that will do the transition to the next page. And since that one is the easier one, let's start with this one. So how do we check that all the parameters are present? Is this short line here uh, that you can copy from the Dialogflow CX documentation. When all the parameters are filled, this equals final, and that's how you check it. That's the con condition. And we are going to transition to the breakfast question, which is next. Would you like breakfast? And then what we can say here as the fulfillment will be um, so let's say so, so let's say that the user they ordered a medium americano. We would say uh, medium uh, americano uh, coming right away. And because this is dynamic, now we're going to fill in the, let's work with the page reference here, since we're all about the page right now. So page params, and then we call this parameter coffee. So that's going to be the coffee, and then the size. Sorry, the size would have been before the coffee type, so a medium americano. So this is the size, okay. If I made a mistake, we will fix it later. And now to the second route, which is going to contain the intent to recognize the coffee, um, yeah, the input of the coffee. So let's call it order coffee. And let's add some training phrases. So what kind of question are we gonna ask again? We're gonna ask, uh, what type of coffee would you like? And then we list all the coffee types. So what could the user input? In the most simple uh, case, they will just add uh, enter Americano. And look what happened here. So I added this and then because I, I um, created this custom entity, this is mapped right away to a new parameter with that custom uh, entity. Only thing is I want it to be called coffee, which is also the reference that I used uh, in the final fulfillment uh, answer that I just entered. And what we can also do here, so we could create two different intents, one for the coffee type, one for the size. But what if the user enters right away, I would like a medium Americano. What if they've used the chatbot before and they want to speed things up? So in this case, because it's quite simple, we can capture both in one intent. So uh, I can say a medium, um, a medium cappuccino. And then again, we can see that this uh, Custom entity is right away mapped here as a new parameter. Only thing is I want it to be called size. This is uh, mistakes happened to me before because I, I use different parameters or I just use this, um, this standard automatic uh, parameter ID while I called the parameter uh, something else in other places. So what other, what other example sentences could the user uh, give us? Also, the prompt here is what size would you like? And then they could just say large. 
and again automate or uh, automated automatic matching to the entity type uh, and then we're gonna add some um, some more pleasantries here medium please uh, one espresso please uh, okay this is not something we want to capture the number and yeah I think that's good enough for now and we've created the intent to recognize that input but what I forgot is I did not save the route so let's let's do it again I already created the intent and <laughs> I saved it that's good but I did not save the route and then here we're going to say actually nothing we're going to leave it empty because the fulfillment we included here and you know what I think it's more elegant if we actually do include it in this other route instead again I didn't save it so here let's put it and that's it okay so let's have a look at what we just did when I started this video we had those here so hello what's your name would you like coffee yes no would you like breakfast yes no what kind of breakfast and then we added this new page that is now asking uh, would you like uh, what type of coffee would you like so the first entry fulfillment is no problem and then we're going to prompt here in the parameters and then once we've uh, got the answer what type of coffee and what size then only then we go back we go to the next uh, question about the breakfast so let's try it out uh, i might have forgotten something but uh, maybe it'll work now <laughs> on the first try so would you like some coffee yes okay my pleasure uh, yes we can already see that um, this one is just too much here we don't need this it's a repetition uh, anyway so what would you like i would like an espresso uh, and then i'm going to say small which is the prompt that's coming from the um, size that's this one now i'm going to enter small and in both answers here this same uh, order coffee route with the intent uh, that recognizes both the coffee type and the size is triggered and now we can see that i already was transferred to the next page so the breakfast page so how did that happen because i added another route in the end that checks if all the parameters are final so basically there's a cycle in this page that gets uh, executed or checked several times so in the first check we see or dialog flow sees okay i have a parameter here that is not filled so i'm going to prompt for it and then the intent kicks in then we go back from the start then dialog flow recognizes okay now this parameter is filled but this is still empty so then it prompts for this one uh, which is then recognized by this uh, route and this intent and same thing again we start from the beginning now dialog flow sees ah this parameter is filled this parameter is filled user didn't enter anything so this intent is not triggered but now this route here which has this page param, param status uh, that one is now true equals true because the the uh, parameter status is final because all the parameters are filled and then we go to the next page because i specified that here okay a little bit longer video and maybe yeah justified because the topic is a bit uh, more complicated uh, but i hope you understood it and um, yeah check the description if you want to see my other dialogue flow training materials